Hi, we are on chapter 17, Mitochondrial, Immune, and Thyroid Health. Copper for Mitochondrial, Immune, and Thyroid Health. Article by Malmud Bilal, PhD. There's a link. So copper boosts ATP for energy production in the mitochondria of the cells, and copper boosts the immune system. And copper hel helps make both T4 and T3 thyroid hormones. Chapter 18, copper increases sevenfold in the kidneys loaded with mercury. Uh, link, a study says, uh, inorganic mercury exposure, mercury-copper interaction, and DMPS treatment in rats. Link, abstract. The aim of the study was to evaluate the efficiency of oral treatment with sodium 2,3-dimer-capto-propane-1-sulfonate, DMPS, which is a chelating agent, on reducing mercury deposits in rat kidney after chronic exposure to inorganic mercury. The effect on kidney copper levels was also evaluated. The results showed that after two months of exposure to 50 parts per million of mercury as mercuric chloride, the concentration of mercury in the kidney was 124 micrograms per gram wet tissue. At the same time, copper concentration rose from 11 to 77 micrograms per gram. DMPS treatment caused two and almost fourfold reduction of mercury and copper, respectively. This study demonstrates that chronic exposure to inorganic mercury may alter metabolism of copper and that DMPS is an effective means for reduction of both mercury and copper. I note, the study also showed that copper increased seven times more in the kidney, even though no copper was given because mercury was in the kidney, likely causing damage to tissues. In other words, copper increasing in the tissues was a result, not a cause of the mercury in the kidney. The mercury in the kidney is the cause of the copper going there. This has dramatic implications for those who use association and links between diseased tissues and those tissues being high in copper to draw false conclusions of causation and wrongly blame copper as a causal agent of diseased tissues. Not so. The body is wisely bringing copper to the areas that need healing. Chapter 19, copper and anesthesia, fat burning and overall importance. Copper and anesthesia, clinical relevance, relevance and management of copper related disorders. Quote, factors influencing absorption include chemical form of copper, competitive antagonism by other metals, zinc, iron, selenium, and cadmium. Quote, there are no laboratory markers that are currently accepted as early markers of copper excess. Now that could very well be that there is no such thing as copper excess. Quote, copper deficiency, early, early recognition and replacement therapy with oral and parenteral copper may lead to reduced neurological deterioration. Quote, copper deficiency in the cardiovascular system can contribute to hypertension, anemia, coagulation abnormalities, and arteriosclerosis. Quote, human studies have suggested that marginal copper deficiency may lead to tachycardia, heart block, and premature ventricular beats. Quote, 6.5 immune system. Copper deficiency is associated with neutropenia, which is uh, low white blood cells, and impaired neutrophil function. Quote, copper deficiency can result in anemia. Quote, red blood cell survival time is reduced in copper deficiency. Quote, coagulation and fibrinol fibrinolysis are both affected by copper deficiency. Clot formation is delayed. So copper may enhance also the effect of benzodiazepines like niacin's effect as a benzo. Quote, benzodiazepines are used for their sedative hypnotic properties and may interact with metal ions in vivo, affecting their therapeutic actions. Copper lorazepam complexes are biologically active, have a rapid onset and duration more prolonged than lorazepam itself. Lorazepam is used to treat seizures. Quote, chronic copper deficiency is more relevant to the anesthesiast because of anemia, immunosuppression, bleeding diaz diathesis, and neurological deep deficits, including myelopathy, polyneuropathy, and demyelination. Uh, effect of dietary copper addition on lipid metabolism in rabbits. Next study. Quote, our study showed dietary copper addition, 5 to 45 milligrams per kilogram, increased body mass gain, but decreased fat and liver weights compared with those in the control group 
Uh, P uh, is significant at, um, uh, or no, uh, not significant at less than uh, 0 0.05. Um, copper at 45 milligrams per kilogram addition significantly increased the skeletal muscle weight, but inhibited uh, cytoplasmic lipid accumulation in liver, skeletal muscle, and adipose tissue. P less than uh, 0 0.05. So increased muscle and lower fat. That's awesome. Uh, finally, a uh, quote uh, from the article Poison of Mankind by C.A. Boot Hillier. Quote, It can be stated with certainty that copper is the single most important nutrient in the body. This is why copper is the target for deprivation and depletion. 